Hello, Barry Anderson from Trade Ideas with today's edition of What Makes This Trade Great. Well, it's sort of <laughs> LYT. If you haven't seen LYT in the past, um, I have to show you a daily chart. You may not believe it if you haven't seen this one. So three days ago, this was a $42 stock, okay? And then all day long, it just absolutely collapsed. Now listen, this was a, a, a very cheap IPO. Not very many shares were issued. Uh, it was, I can't remember what the IPO price was. It was probably about four or five. And this is what can happen to some of these crazy, crazy ones that, ha that are IPOs. Very few shares issued low price and they can go really ballistic. I mean, this got all the way up to $47. What surprised me actually, let me get rid of my uh, sounds here. What surprised me actually was the fact that it had this run multi-days. A lot of times what we'll see is we'll see maybe three days and then then the fizzle. This took, you know, this actually was up one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. And then look at this drop to $41 all the way down to $5 the same day. Anyway, this kept showing up on my races right here, LYT, okay? You know, I've been following the races, and so there it is, LYT, in the pull position, the number one leader today with four races won. So was watching this all day long and have traded in and out of it several times. Uh, this is not easy, you know, and as I said in the room, this is highly, highly speculative. Look at these topping tails, look at the bottoming tails, but... Here's the deal. If somehow this can take out, and I have to back up, I'll show you my daily chart on this one again. You can see right here, this is um, what, three days ago, right there the high was 640. You know, if it can take out 640, and it may not happen today, it may never happen, but if it does take out 640, uh, traders are gonna be looking at this uh, at this area up here at 42. I'm not, I'm not even, suggesting it's going to come close to getting back up to 42. But they're going to just look at this and say, man, look at this potential void. I mean, even if it moved two or three dollars, that would be a great uh, percentage move. So uh, what I would do is I would put a price alert at that at that alert price of 640. If you're using Trade Ideas or some other platform, put a price alert at 640. And if it takes it out, you know, traders are going to be looking at that next high looking left. So anyway, that is that's what made it great. It was the fact that it, it was winning races, uh, was the race leader for the day. And uh, again, not easy, chopping up and down, not unlike the market. I mean, look at the market. Market, uh, you know, went up. Look at this, uh, this red candle here at one point that was green, and then it just collapsed, 45 minutes, a little pop up, little base, little move down, a lot of chop. Of course, it's Canada Day today. Uh, for we Canadians, and of course, 4th of July, the market's closed on Monday. So, you know, we did, I actually had a lot more action than I thought I would. I thought, I thought maybe it would be very, very slow, but actually a little more action than I thought, than I thought we'd uh, see today based on the two holidays. Anyway, that is it, guys. So in the email that you're getting, um, you will see there is a promo code for the 4th of July. You'll see it. And that is probably good until Tuesday night, okay? I know it probably says Monday, but it's probably good till Tuesday night, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. So take advantage of it, 25% off. So have a great uh, long weekend to my American friends. And remember, the market is closed on Monday, so we will see you Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock, okay? So have a great long weekend. Bye-bye.